What's that sticking out of my head? It's Brian from Crash Course Camera, and I don't want you to mistake the quickness of this lesson for its importance. This is kind of a big deal. It's about taking a second to look through your viewfinder and check what's in your background that might be interfering with the awesomeness of your shot. And I say this because, well, it's really easy to get focused on just the actual subject that you're shooting. I think my eyes are drying out. But if you're not paying attention to what's around them in the background, you're gonna get things sticking out of people's heads, generally weird, ugly crap poking into the frame that just looks wrong, and you wanna avoid that. Obviously, checking your background doesn't mean not having anything in your background. You want backgrounds, but just look how things might intersect your subject. How do you fix it if there's something that is intersecting your subject or poking out of someone's head? There are three ways. Number one, move your body or your feet slightly so that you're shooting from a different angle that avoids a problem object. Or number two, move the problem object so it's no longer a problem. Or number three, move your subject slightly so that that thing is no longer a thing. Make sense? If you need some examples though, I have one for you here. This is actually one of the better ones that I sort of failed on. This one's a shot from a recent fashion shoot where we took over a house for the day and I moved all the furniture around to get just the right look in the background, but I wasn't paying attention to the lamp and uh, I was just looking at my model and I didn't even notice that it was sticking out of her head. It looks kind of weird. I had to go in and spend a bunch of time photoshopping this thing out. It was a pain because I had a bunch of them to do in this series and I didn't want to waste time doing that. I could have just saved myself all of that time by moving myself or my model or the thing. No big deal. You can do the same thing. Just move your butt and save yourself a ton of time. Do not let a third arm sticking out of someone's ass or a tree growing out their head ruin another shot. And I might also point out that when you're shooting groups with other hands and other appendages around, keep, uh, keep an eye on what's going on with those folks around other people too. So that's it really. You can go out and practice that pretty easily. I got lots of these tips. If you want to keep getting better at your photography, just subscribe to this channel. It's the red subscribe button below. And then join the Crash Course Camera Facebook group and share and post your practice photos because you're going to get a ton of free feedback in real time with all the other folks that are working on it just like you. And I'll be there to help coach too. Cool? Rock on. When the world makes you cry.